hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well so today i'm off to ikea and i thought i would turn this into a come to ikea with me because i haven't been to ikea in such a long time the last time i went to ikea was when i was about four months pregnant with liana and she is currently two months old so that's how long it's been very long time so i'm super excited to go it is literally only about 15 to 20 minute drive from my house so it's not that far but I do need a couple of things that's where we're going and it's currently six o'clock and I'm going late in the evening on purpose because it's a lot quieter usually I hope I'm right <laughs> a bit of jinx it like I'm saying oh it's gonna be quiet but imagine it is actually really packed imagine everyone's thinking like me go in the evening is a lot quiet is a lot chill but imagine it's actually really full <laughs> the joke will be on me but um no it's usually empty around six seven eight it closes at nine the weekend is very busy so it's best to avoid ikea on the weekends if you're not into like large crowds and um very very packed ikea and a very packed car park but let's go and see if i'm right <laughs> or if i'm wrong because i haven't been in so long uh so yeah come along with me to ikea i will show you guys what's new in I'll show you guys the items that I do pick up, so I'll do a haul at the end of the video. Let's go. I'm wearing my baby sling, by the way, if you're wondering what this grey thing is. I'm wearing a grey jumper, so it's blending in quite well. <laughs> um, but I'm wearing my baby sling just so that it's easy to just pop Liana on once I get out of the car. Instead of pushing a buggy around, I just feel like this is so much more um, easier, more comfortable and hands-free, you know? And she likes it. Anyway, so let's go to ikea wow guys look at this sofa it's so gorgeous but it's 700 pounds oh wow this is so nice i love it oh so hard to open though i have this chair right there for anybody asking and they have a leather one up there I do like the mustard yellow. If I didn't get that grey, I probably would have got the mustard yellow. I feel like you can get quite bored of the yellow though. <laughs> Marley, come sit on this again. This is a miniature version of our sofa. Ooh, look at these knitted throws. So nice. Ooh, I do love this. Roses. But I feel like their roses are... Oh, that's a good price, actually. £1.50. Mm. How cute is this? Look. Oh, look at that. The hands actually close. And so do the feet. It is just adorable. I'm going to put it in her buggy. I just spotted this sofa. And it says, new on it and actually looks so comfortable so comfortable such a nice sofa if i didn't have mine i said it looks so comfortable i didn't say it is this is a mini version of that so i'll sit on this and see if it's comfortable by the way i'm wearing my new shoes i do like this look at this kitchen guys marble white sink sink of dreams Oh, I like that plant pot. I'm gonna look for that. It's a nice blush pink. What have you found? Map! Malik found a map. Look at this living room. It is my type of living room. I've got a grey sofa. I've got one of these pillowcases. I've got one of those chairs, just not the yellow one. I do like this rug as well. If I didn't already have a rug, I'd definitely pick this up. I do like it. One of the reasons that we came to Ikea is actually to get a wardrobe for the kids' room. So I'm in a kids' room here. There's a wardrobe behind me. Um, this is one that we looked at online, but we decided against it. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys. Oh, I'll show you guys what this wardrobe looks like. It's not... Yeah, it's not... Don't say that word on my video. We don't swear on this channel. It's a family channel. Look open it up for you guys to see it's not bad it's not bad it's design i know it is too small we, yeah we want one for like both the kids so it wouldn't fit but no actually you can get another no we can't no you can't i do like this though 
This is so nice. Look, you can put another bed under there instead of toys. Okay. Let's go and find Malik. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get out of there, mate. Oi. Tickle, tickle. Getting one of these hanging plants. We'll just get one for now. Very nice, very nice. I do like these prints. I do like that. In a row. Very nice. I like this if it was in silver. Not really gold theme in my living room, but yeah. That is very nice. But I have way too many plants and I just bought one now. I really like that plant holder. Baskets, anybody? How nice is that? Wow. It's hanging. Beautiful. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yumders. <laughs> That's lime and coconut. Have you ever seen IKEA car park this empty? Have you ever? <laughs> We're literally the last ones to get out. Right guys, so I am back. I've been back for a little while now and it's currently 10.45, what? Yeah, um, by the way, when we went to IKEA, it was seven o'clock, not six. I got my times mixed up. Um, it was really nice actually. It wasn't that full, but it wasn't that empty either. Um, it was, I would say like half full. Usually when I go, it's like completely packed out. This time it wasn't that bad. Anyway, I'll show you what I picked up because that's what you want to see, right? <laughs> so I picked up two of these shelves. Oh, you guys can't even see it properly. Um, this is for Malik's room. So this side is going to go on the wall um, for his books. So for now, I picked up two. And by the way, if I'm speaking low, it's because I don't want to wake the kids up, even though one of them's awake, screaming their head off. Yeah. And I thought if his books don't fit in these two, then I'll pick another one up. And they were five pounds each, so both of them were ten pounds. And then pick this up for Liana. Can you guys see that? How gorgeous is this ginormous elephant? It is huge. Look, massive. It is massive. It is so fluffy. She is so tiny compared to this, so she's gonna really enjoy this. And that was £15. Um, this is for my downstairs bathroom. It's one of those hanging plants. Um, I think it's... What's it called? It hasn't got a name. Um, and I just picked that up. Tin to go along with it. So it looks like that. So the plant pot was £1.25. And the artificial plant was £6. So £1.25 for the pot and £6 for the hanging ivy flower. What else again? What else? What else? Oh yeah. So um, last time I went to Ikea, I picked this up. You can use this. There's different sizes, by the way. There's a jug version. You can use this for water. But I bought this last time to put my condensed milk. And I like to add condensed milk to my coffee and my tea. And at the moment, I just opened the can up and I put the can in the fridge, which is not really good um, to use can items and keep them in the, in the can. So I have bought this to pour it into here so that I can pop it into the fridge and just use it. And I can also use it for water. So that was, I'm pretty sure it's like £2. And then this was £1.50. This is just a white bowl and Hubby just picked this up because... He wanted to take it to work to have his food I suppose and he also picked up the same sort of style plate a white plate and that's two pounds and then I got um, LED light strip and this is the multicolored ones and I think this was Ledberg it's called Ledberg it was 12 pounds and this is gonna go can you see this TV unit that long one right now is gonna go on the wall so this is gonna be like underneath the TV unit so the light basically reflects onto the floor 
that makes sense. And last but not least, I picked up four 50 by 50 um, picture frames. So can you see where that unit is right now at the moment? I'm pointing two next to the TV. There's two of them, there's one on that side and there's one there. I'm gonna sell those and, and to replace it, I'm gonna put two picture frames, really big ones, 50 by 50, on both sides. So I picked up four and um, they were 12 pounds each so all the four picture frames what i paid 48 pounds for bloody picture frames and they are huge so it's these ones 3d type of picture frames so yeah i've got four of them the rest there i'm not going to show you each one but that's everything that i picked up from ikea um most priciest thing I bought probably the picture frame the picture frames if I'm honest. But altogether hundred pounds. And the food in IKEA always delightful. Especially the cheesecake, the blueberry, the purplish sort of cheesecake. I don't know what it's called, but I picked it up and I've got it right here with me and I'm devouring it. It's so good. Guys, I forgot to show you guys the jam I picked up. I picked up this um, strawberry jam, organic, and I was resting my camera on it, so I totally forgot to show you guys. But I picked up organic strawberry jam. Never tried IKEA jam before, but the food is so good, so I'm assuming this is going to be amazing. If you've tried it, let me know what you think of it. I need to check the ingredients now. I bet somebody <laughs> comments and says that it's got gelatin in it. Actually, I don't think it does, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you lot have enjoyed watching this come to Ikea with me and um, I hope you enjoyed the haul and if you'd like to see more of these um, in different shops, in different homeware shops, let me know and I will catch you later in my next video. Take care. Bye.